Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Aveline here. Uh, today I wanted to do a tag by uh, My Simple Path. I just realised I don't know your name. Oh, that's so silly. I don't. I don't know your name. Hmm. I need to look that up. <laughs> um, who came up with a lovely tag called um, Tarot Cartomancy First. Uh, firsts. Yes. Um, it's five questions about like how you first got into tarot and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, let's jump right in and do this little tag. Uh, when and how did you first find out that you have a love for cards? Um, I've always had a love for stationery. So the step to cards wasn't that big of a leap. Um, but um, when I first started doing sort of witchy stuff, uh, I wasn't into cards at all. I thought um, they weren't my thing. I uh, had some friends who did do um, tarot and um, I just thought it was too complicated, too much. Um, yeah, no. I, I, uh, I went to a, and I've mentioned this before, called something called Bureau for Tarot. Uh, a bureau the for tarot um which was like a place where you could take um uh, workshops and that kind of thing and um yeah i i um saw uh the voyager voyager yes deck um and i really really liked it i i've written it in my witchy diary um how much i enjoyed it and um uh, but I also just didn't think I would go into tarot. I didn't, you know, I, um, but uh, fast forward uh, quite a couple of years and I was heavily into watching witchy uh, videos on YouTube and uh, I came across more and more uh, witchy people that were using tarot and it intrigued me and um, you know when you when you um, uh, start getting an interest in something, it pops up everywhere. So uh, I would see like a telly show where they would have a tarot reader or something like that, or they would mention it, or I would read a book and someone was a, a tarot reader in that. And um, yeah, so and of course YouTube started spitting out more and more. Uh, videos on the subject so I was watching tarot videos long before I even um, I did have a deck I had a Rider Waite Smith deck um, but yeah I tried and it just wasn't for me um, so yeah I um, yeah then I started uh, thinking about it and two Christmases ago I decided to buy myself a couple of decks and see how I got on and I really really enjoyed it so yeah God, that was that was quite a long answer and I, maybe I've answered all the other questions as well let's see <laughs> how when and how did you first get your first ever cart deck well um my first ever and I don't know where it's gone. I've got it here somewhere because uh, I've showed it in a in a video before, like one that I made two like a year ago, maybe longer. I don't know. Mm. Um, I had this uh, a <coughs> frog in my throat. Um, <laughs> I had this um, really cheap deck, like really. Th Thin, I wouldn't even call it cardstock. It was more like a little bit thicker than paper uh, cards. Uh, it came in a little a little uh, box with a book and then the cards. And um, it was from one of those cheapy bookstores. Um, but this was back in Holland. So we're talking like, you know, at least 12 years ago, if not longer. Um, so that's when I bought my first deck. Um... But it was a pip deck and the book just didn't make any sense to me and uh, even though it was quite like it was written quite simply like sort of it was meant to be sort of like an easy 
tarot book sorry um but yeah it didn't like it didn't resonate i i just couldn't i, I just couldn't get on with it um especially the sort of the pip style of the cards like um three of wands here's three wands three of cups here's three cups i just i didn't i couldn't and um yeah so that kind of put me off of tarot for quite some time and then I got my um, uh, I went to a boot sale and I found a right away smith I still couldn't get on with it um, and then like I said uh, uh, two Christmases ago no th coming up for three Christmases ago um, I got some uh, some decks so yeah and I, and I sort of count those as my proper first first. Um, how was it? Uh, how was it to how was it at first getting to know the cards? Um, overwhelming, and because uh, there's so many of them. Um, and I was lucky because I, uh, like I said, I come from sort of like a witchy background. Um, so uh, the suits and stuff I, I already had that you know like that wasn't a problem um and um some of the symbolism you know throughout the years i would i'd already sort of gotten to know um but yeah and i'm still you know i'm not i i couldn't do a flashcard uh game like Tell me what this is. Tell me what that is. That's why I couldn't do playing cards or pip decks. I still need that artwork to help me. Um, yeah, so it was overwhelming and and difficult, but you know. Yes. Uh, what methods did you use to get to know and bond with new cards? Um, and I still do. I uh, very often um, do deck interviews. Not all the time. I used to do it like with every single deck I got, but I, just the ones that I feel like are going to be important for me. Because um, there's decks that you know you're just going to be like it's for every day and whatever. Uh, but decks that you instantly feel like, oh, these I'm going to be using for something specific. Um, and then it's just, um, the interviews aren't, to me, aren't like, oh, if you if the deck tells me it's not going to be good for this, I'm not going to use it for that. But, but, but. It's just like a, a getting, to know, getting to know the deck, getting a feel for the deck. Um, but usually just what I do when I first get a deck, I go through it a couple times just in order. And then I start shuffling it. And um, as I shuffle it, I... Um, like I shuffle it quite a couple of times really well and then I go through it again and then um, like if I get like uh, um, the same suit still one after the other I sort of tuck them in the deck further away in the deck or one at the front one at the back I'll shuffle them some more um, yeah so the shuffling process um, adds quite a bit to it um, and that's how I how I get to know it. Um, if there's a like a proper guidebook, I will read the guidebook. Um, I try to read that at least once. Sometimes I go through it a couple of times. Um, yeah, so that's how I get to know my decks. And then the last one is: anyone in your family a card reader? Well, that's simple. No, <laughs> no. Mm. I didn't even grow up um, playing card games, to be honest. It wasn't like taboo or anything, but we just went into it. Um, my nan used to have um, this old bag. It was sort of like a messenger bag, but it was a hard, um, like a fake leather, hard, shelly bag. And she had like this old deck in there and me and my sisters when we were really little used to play postman and just like hand out all the cards to all the people at my nan's like 
Um, and that's the most I've played with cards. I've never, uh, I never really got into uh, playing any card games. Um, so no. And um, on my husband's side, his mum is really anti tarot. Uh, so no, no. She reads. Uh, she doesn't really read part. Like she doesn't do anything active with it. But um, she is a medium and um, uh, she has a crystal ball um, and, and she can read, um, she can get energy from uh, like jewellery and stuff. Um, but cards are a massive taboo for some bizarre reason. Even playing cards, she didn't want any playing cards in the house. Um, yeah, so, um, no, I, and um, my uh, uh, grandparents, no, not either, like, they were, I come from a Catholic background, um, both sets of grandparents were Catholic, I come from a Catholic area of uh, the country, um, always been to Catholic schools, uh, no uniforms though, don't, like, get any, <laughs> um, we don't do uniforms in Holland, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so no, no card readers in my family, unless there's people like me um, keeping secrets. <laughs> that could very well be the case. Uh, maybe some cousins. I'm, I'm, yeah, I've got this one cousin in mind who might, you know, be interested. Um, yeah, that was it. That was a really fun short tag which I of course dragged out to like take it forever but you know I like to rumble thank you very much for watching uh, thank you very much Simple Path for doing this tag it was a really good one I am um, looking forward to other people doing this tag because it's like, fun um, I feel like we haven't done a tag like this for a while uh, yeah so thank you very much and um, I will see you all again very soon <laughs>